What is up, everybody? Brett here. I'm going to check out a game called Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. I actually met the dev earlier on this game. Um, we had a conversation about it. Super cool game. Um, it's funny because he actually was not aware of phasmophobia before he started developing it, which I thought was really funny um, because obviously that's one of the bigger games in this genre. So this is Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. Um, obviously, you can see it's a ghost hunting simulation game. Um, first person single player experience. You can check out the reviews. Everything looks really good. Very positive. Um, DNA Studios. So let's give it a shot. I haven't even hit play yet. So this is going to be the first time. So let's check it out. Ah, cool logo. All right. DNA. It's like a play on DNA. Like DNA strand. It's nice. It's clever. It's clever. Ooh, that's a cool loading. All right. We got mouse. What I don't have here is my controller. I think this is going to be a keyboard and mouse game anyway. Um, Kind of a weird resolution there when it went to windowed full screen. I am on 1920 by 1080. So it's kind of odd that it went there. Also went to very high. Um, I am on an i9. Uh, 10900K and an RTX 3070. So a bit interesting that it decided to go there. But you know what? Let's just leave it for now. And let's go new game. Turn it up here so I can hear it. Never thought I'd have my own office. Voice acting. All right. For years, I just did this for fun and rarely made any money doing it. I finally earned enough business to justify renting this place. And after several months, I think I got it looking somewhat professional. Okay, I like having the uh, world navigation in the top right. The other day. It's nice. I should look at the map in the back to get an idea of where I'm going to be investigating. I'm going to pop the sensitivity down a little bit on the mouse. See that it's not not perfectly smooth there. Now, uh, admittedly, I do have 25 or 30 Chrome tabs open, so I don't know. Maybe there's an... Maybe there's maybe there's a little uh, RAM being being eaten up. Nothing really should be GPU heavy though. So all right, so toggle HUD that is that zero. I think that's a zero, right? Is that? I think it's zero. Um, WASD. Move with the mouse. Look with the mouse. Interact with F. Menu is Escape. Left side we have right click for fa flashlight or one. Okay. We we'll get a little animation. That's cool. And the sound. That looks. It's great. Um, Two is camera. What does that mean? Oh, okay. That looks cool. All right. Audio recorder is three. EMF is four. Tim sensor is five. So that's my three, four, five are my three sensors. Um, notes are tab, scroll equipment, middle mouse. So let's pick that up. Whoa. All right. Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI, CSPPI. History, success, and professionalism. All right. Investigation, passive tools. Again, this is more like an instruction meter. Um, so let me just check, check these three tools. So flashlight, um, handheld sensor for detecting cold spots. Cold spot terms. Okay, all locations of natural fluctuations in temperature. So it's key to take a baseline reading. Based on the user's preference, temperature can be F or C. That's nice. Equip five, change units, C for change, space for activate. Um... EMF for electromagnetic fields. And that's four. Okay, turn over. Audio recorder. Ghostly sounds. Okay. That's three. E, I'm not sure if I'm going to remember all of this, but I'm going to try. HD full spectrum camera with night vision. Two. X. Space. We're going to give it a shot. I like that this is the credits. Very cool. Very cool. All right, let's close brochure and let's flashlight was right click. Okay, all right. Unreal Engine is beautiful. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. None of those. I was looking for the escape button. Okay, nice TV there. I don't need, don't need this. Oh, is that a button? Oh, lights. Okay. All right, so. Something about a meter. Not that one. Nope. Should we check EMF or temp? Let's check EMF. 
Maybe I don't know how to work it. It was space, right? Okay, put that guy away. Let's turn the lights off. This is scary. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Okay. Yep, that means nothing to me. Okay. Moving forward. Models look really good. Uh, lighting's nice. You can see the way the... Um, I guess this is the viewport port light. You can kind of see the line on the wall. It's a little bit... A little bit interesting. I guess that's a light maybe attached to the character. And that's with my flashlight off. Um, so I'm kind of seeing as I move up and down. You can see that on the wall. That does. That's a little bit off-putting. I'm not sure exactly why that's happening. Um, otherwise, though, the, the models themselves look really good. Okay, let's give it some, some flashlight. Don't be a ghost. Okay. All this stuff looks really nice. Nice, nice and shiny. I don't hear a walking sound, right? So... Okay, my flashlight is right click. If that's the case, it was not it was not going away. I clicked it about eight times. Um, so I'm not sure why that why that didn't go away. It's working every time now. Was it something stuck in the bathroom area? Let me see. Let me go back in here. I went in here, I turned the light on, I looked around, right? I walked back out, I made a comment about the game sounds. And turn the flashlight off. It worked that time, but it did not work before. So I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, and I know obviously a game like this, you're you're really focusing on quiet, right? That's something that makes sense here. Um, but maybe a very subtle walking sound. Let me just make sure my volume's up loud enough. I, 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 I'm not hearing it. I'm hearing wind, it sounds like, even though it seems like we're indoors. Is that rain or wind? I can't tell. Um, but what I'm not hearing is a walking sound. And of course, now to get really in-depth with it, you change the sound depending on the surface you're walking on, and it just adds a little bit of immersion um, for the player. You know, we've got this tile surface in here. We've got this wood surface. Um, and then we've got this third surface out here, right, which is a different set of tile. So that would be a nice addition. Now that leaves. So, all right. I have instructions on what to do. Temperature data, EMF data, audio data notes. Okay. So let's record. Did it stop on its own or did I stop it? Okay. So temperature data or audio data. We can't see that there. Hmm. It's a little weird with the, see the hands going through the, not sure exactly why the hand goes through the clipboard or the paperwork and then as you move further away it goes completely away i'm sure it has to do with the direction my mouse is aiming but it's like maybe it's ray casting um let me see does it work even if you're like across the room it doesn't okay so there is some sort of like a ray cast there but it's got a range to it okay maybe i'm just in a weird spot all right so four EMF pushing spacebar wait change units X or E I think it's E yep I don't know what to do with this oh something's happening okay what does that mean now what so the meter's going off a sound would be cool if that's the meter going off. I mean, it looks like it's in... I, I, I'm not having a hard time. I don't, can't tell if that's a lighting issue or if that's actually the meter going off. Um, if the meter is actually doing something, you know, having a nice... No, that's the meter doing something. Having a nice audio cue. Uh, if you haven't picked that up, I'm a big fan of audio cues, so having that would be really nice. Okay, so for here, do we push one of these buttons? Not that button. That's the go button. Go like gas. Uh, okay. None of those buttons seem to do anything, so let's turn that off. That's EMF. 
Okay. Audio is three. We are recording audio. I don't know what that does. Okay, we recorded audio. Five. Uh, C. Oh, no, that's temperature. Okay. All right. Let's put that away, too. Now, there's n there are no more doors out here. So I don't think we're supposed to be going through anything. I feel as though we are supposed to be looking for something. Maybe like a light or something. Let's try lights off and flashlight only. Lights on. Okay. What is that light? Why is there a reflection up there? Is that a reflection? How do I do this? F? What? The light's not turning off. Okay, so I'm clicking F. And the light is not changing. That's weird. Do I have to have my flashlight on to turn the light off? That's not normal. You could probably hear me clicking F before. Maybe not. But. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work. The hand was clearly on screen. Okay, so that. I guess that's the light in the room. It's kind of an odd reflection there. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but. Okay, so, turn the light off, doesn't matter, let's get a reading of some sort, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, temperature, oh, investigating progress, maybe it's weird because there's something there. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Oh, I didn't think so either, okay, well, let's... Do we, do we have to put that away to turn that off? All right, again, I cannot turn the lights off. I'm clicking the F key several times. Okay, just wasn't ready. It wasn't ready for me. All right, let's check reading. We got to find something out of the ordinary here. 67, 67, 67. Am I supposed to be finding a specific area with a bad reading? 66. Okay, we found a book. Let's try that. Let's put this away. Pick up the book. Nope. F. Nope. F is not working. All right. Where, where do we turn the lights on? Turn this flashlight off. Okay. Type of ghost. All right. Press the interact button to close the book. So table of contents. As identified by those who authored this book residual got it okay this photo is of an apparent residual ghost was taken in 1896 all right blah 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 blah, blah. they're spiritual unaware of the world very cool um blah, blah blah okay got it wait there was like a check mark what does that mean intelligent ghost capacity to communicate with the living they usually fall into one of two categories those have passed away. Second is shadow people. That sounds scary. I don't want to deal with shadow people. Poltergeist. These are the definitely scary ones. Noisy spirit. All right. Okay. Got it. Demonic. Demons. Oh, yeah. They need an exorcist. Definitely. They have one, but... I don't know if it's going to be enough. Okay. Interact button. Got it. Okay. We've made progress. We've now read a book on ghosts. Let's go back to the first. You know what? Let's give the temperature reading on this weird map thing. No, let's read the map thing. Press interact button. Exit the map. Okay. Uh, is the lit up area the one that I'm in? I'm looking for like a you are here, but I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. So this is like the main map of, okay. Now I push the, I tried to click that. It didn't go away. Right. 
Okay, it did, it did go away now. Doesn't go away, doesn't go away, doesn't go... Okay, I have to click... I should be able to click anywhere on this, and I'm not able to. But if I click the words, it goes away, so maybe that collider box can be expanded to just be the entire page, because there's no indication that I have to click there. It doesn't even highlight or anything, so I'm not, I'm not really aware of that. Okay, north side... Ghost level trophies for this location are under development. All right. It's cool having different locations. I think I'm here, right? Oh, maybe I'm not here. Okay. I'm not there. We're going there. I love the loading. That's really cool. That's a great, great touch. The homeowners reached out to me a few days ago, seeming to be rather desperate for help. This family is convinced their house is haunted. They moved into the house about a year ago, and within the first few months, the wife heard odd sounds like footsteps coming from the upstairs as she was on the main floor. Her husband told her she was hearing things until he heard them himself. They have three children, and the two youngest informed mom earlier last week they have seen a young child playfully skipping through the upstairs hallway. That sounds like a poltergeist. Her her children feel they have a new playmate, but she does not share the same feeling. This is unsettling for the parents who want to get to the bottom of this. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. So I actually find it odd that it didn't completely stop me from moving just now. It was like my mass was just really high. I was actually able to inch around. I'm guessing it was something like a mass change or something. Um, there was clearly a rigid body on there, some sort of function, but... Um, it was weird, and obviously I could move around. I think that if you're going to keep the player or prevent the player from being able to move anyway, I don't even think you should be able to move the mouse around. I, I just I don't know what that I don't know what that really brings to the table. Um, so it should either be if you're forcing the player to listen to that cinematic piece, the voice acting piece, then maybe they should be looking at something else or something slightly different if they're not going to be able to move anyway i don't think there's an advantage to doing what doing the the way it's set up now again just my opinion um we don't have a run button obviously the game's not designed for that i've tried to hit shift several times and it's not work okay i'm hearing some noises and it's making me slightly uncomfortable 68 oh it's warmer here we're so much warmer than the, than the office space we were in. It's also creepy here. I don't need their lights on. I have a flashlight. Okay. Wait, wait. Hold on. Why did I have an investigating thing? And how did I turn that on or off? I don't... I don't really understand that. It said investigating... Something? Oh, so we want to turn the lights off? I don't know which ones I just turned on. Okay. On... The lights are kind of wonky. On, no. Off. On. F, 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 F. No, wait. F, F, F. Okay. It's just a sticky light switch. Okay, that's the outside light. Oh, God. Whew. That actually scared me. It, like, squeezed me up against the door. That was really weird. You'll find in a lot of games, as you can see why, um, doors always open away from the player, even though it doesn't make sense. Um, that's just a trick that's used just to prevent that exact scenario that just happened. Um, even though it's not realistic to have a door always open away, it's done a lot in games so that you don't have that issue. I'm not saying that's the way you need to do it, but, uh, it is done like that a lot in a lot of cases. All right. There's some kind of crow out there and creaky stairs actually sound like mine. I have a set of stairs very similar. Yep, this room is creepy. All right. 68, 69. Is that hot? So I don't know what initiates that investigating progress. That's very cold, actually. Like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. What? Seems paranormal. I was actually afraid to turn that flashlight on. I did not know what to expect. All right. So I'm going to check. Nope. I'm going to. Uh, yep. Yeah. Four. I'm going to check this guy. Creepy. 
The scariest thing so far is that freaking door, honestly. Oh, God. The doors all try to kill you. So, like... Just rename the game Death Doors. Death's Door. What is that? Is that the reflection of the EMF? Why does the EMF have a reflection, but I don't? Am I a ghost? Bit wonky on the, the lighting setup there. Uh, it also is like... Yeah, that's very weird. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it, it's a little bit odd. Okay. So how do you in, invoke investigation? Because, okay, all right, yep, screw you, lady. These temp readings are unusual. You think? There's a freaking kid skipping through the stairs. Yeah, that was actually really creepy. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I suspect I'm supposed to find her, although I probably really don't want to. Yeah, the thing I'm not really getting, like I said, is the investigating. So, obviously you could see a weird scenario there. I saw a child run by. It basically said, oh, the temp readings are weird. Well, yeah, there's a freaking ghost in front of me. I mean, that's a little bit weirder than the temperature readings. There she is. She scared me again. Yep, yep, that's scary. Okay, so, but how do I... Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Um, everything in here is acting funny. Honestly. The EMF meter is... I don't know how it works. Oh, maybe I can record the audio this time. Is she coming from here or here? Is she triggered on a timer? Yeah, again, for me, the weirdness is things like not knowing how to initiate. Oh, oh, oh re record, record. Record. Is that working? That Hello. Very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. I think that we should. I cannot read the evidence. Okay. So, again, maybe there's a, maybe the, <laughs> maybe the evidence should have an unlit shader on it. Or something along those lines. I mean, it is nice that as it moves around, you know, you get a little bit of lighting impact, but it definitely you don't want this scenario. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Notice admiral readings. Obtained a piece of audio evidence. Okay, so how do we... Oh, a photo. That's right. How do we do that? Two? I'll get a picture of her next time. Just going to walk around for a minute. Do I have to... Oh, okay. I actually snap a picture. Got it. I don't really want to see that little girl anymore. She's too creepy for me. She's very creepy, though, so, I mean, that's a positive. I'll come out wherever you are. Okay. Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. Look at that. Uh. Give me those achievement points. Okay. Now what? So, we've done... Found some regular cold... Irregular cold spots. Noticing an abnormal reading. Obtained a piece of audio evidence that cannot be explained. The photographs taken found evidence. Most of the activity has been witnessed upstairs. Okay, so now what? Um, is there some direction I should be following? Do I maybe need to do what it says here and um, focus a bit more on the irregular cold spots and or spend some more time in the area with... EMF data, which I believe, oh, okay, oh, I, okay, so again, well, I was going to say there was a forced investigation, I think I have to point at her though, right, give it to me, okay, so I think I just didn't get all of the, uh, I don't know if she starts here again next time, she probably only comes out when the lights are out, but I don't know that for a fact. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not touching anything. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Okay. All right. So convinced there's paranormal data. So now we just need to do something with this temperature data. Oh, wait. There it is. 
It's going to say normal. I think this room is normal. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. So we have to find this. Whatever this area is. And again, the, the trick. Where is she? Man, she's creepy. Where'd she go? How do I find her? TV should be warm, right? Not if it's off, I guess. Okay. All right. Trying to find this little girl. See if I can get this temperature thing going. And then we'll wrap it up. What is that creepy noise? Turn the light off. Here? I hear her. All right. Man, this is... Okay, I can't turn the lights off again. Definitely struggling with lights. Okay, this is a cold spot again. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. All right, another achievement. Can't read the notes. Okay, so paranormal, paranormal, audio data. Got it. The photographs. Okay, so again, at this point, I don't know what's next. Except not getting decapitated by a door. And that's probably, and, and that's a good stopping point there. So, um, you know, as you can see, the biggest takeaway kind of that I had was I, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I mean, here's the process, preliminary research. Field server and I, okay, hours of posting, okay, blah, blah, investigative process, these help us gain understanding, active tools can be used to collect and use beautiful evidence, however, active tools may be needed at any moment because spirits can be unpredictable. Um, the investigation will conclude after we obtain suitable evidence. We will then provide our clients with a report of our findings. Follow-up is needed, we're only a phone call away. So, again, um, I feel as though I had irrefutable evidence, I think, um, but... I'm clearly not sure. So there's that creepy girl again. Um, so finding kind of the direction on some of that stuff is really probably what I'm lacking most here. Um, when it comes to this, definitely not my normal genre of play, but I won't be the only one that's like that, right? So we're not just look, we're not just taking the game and trying to appeal only to people that play Phasmophobia and games like that. Because obviously, you know, the dev himself, David, had not played Phasmophobia before making the game. So, um, you know, the appeal to these types of games can be wider spread than that. So you want to make sure that your player, um, without holding their hand too much, still has a little bit of direction on to kind of what to do. It's not a sandbox game, so they want to be able to know what exactly to do next. Um, so that's probably the biggest takeaway for me. Obviously, I mentioned some of the, you know, minor glitches that I saw. Um... A couple of things that maybe could be addressed. Nothing major, really. I mean, otherwise, the game feels fine. Um, performance, not sure. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, you know, with a, a pretty beefy system here, a decent system, I would say, uh, an i9 and a 3070, um, I should be pretty well. I didn't have any performance issues, but I could see that other people could. So let's... I wonder if we... Um... Yeah, that's a little bit a little bit slow there um can we take this up and just go ultra on everything all right just to see and let's see if that loads back in in place um i'm getting an encoding overload over on my um on my obs right now so clearly it's using a lot a considerable more gpu cycles than it was previously so but it looks about the same to me so i think we were fine on what we were on not really a, a huge difference maybe a little bit um i want to walk upstairs with this notepad 
and see if see if we see any difference here. I mean, as you can see, okay, so turn the light on, turn the light on. Okay, so we are still getting the notepad dropping off in the dark. The flashlight lights it, but the notepad itself is only lit in certain areas. Okay, so again, that's, you know, just some of the things I saw. Clearly, the system is fine. It can run everything at ultra 1920 by 1080. Um, so I don't think that's an issue here. Although, you know, I know you had mentioned some uh, some people with performance issues, but otherwise, I mean, I think it's uh, I think it's really cool. Um, I think that it fits really well in that that niche for these types of games. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you, man. And I appreciate you watching and anyone else watching. I appreciate everyone who is watching and I will see everyone next time.